player of the series in the last four contests against South Africa, Steve Waugh has produced his best against the Proteas again. In trouble at four for 77, Waugh and Ricky Ponting saved the home side in front of a 72,000 strong MCG crowd. An unbroken century stand taking the score to four for 206 at stumps. Glenn McGrath got through the warm-up and was finally cleared to play. Winning the toss was supposed to give him extra time to rest, but the signs were ominous from the first over. It's gone! Dropped it! Matthew Elliott looked nervous facing Alan Donald, but it was Klusner who sent him packing. That's gone Alan. high in the air. And Richardson takes an easy catch. Taylor was a tad more comfortable. Oh, well. However, with the score on 42, Australia was That's two down. And he's gone! South Africa decided to attack Mark Wall with the short-pitched ball. And just three balls before lunch, he fell for the trap. Oh, he's gone! He's gone! Yes! War trudged off with a duck. The Protea is in control at three for 44. It was even harder to score in the second session. Steve Wall working hard but struggling to rediscover his timing. A run rate of just 1.5 was tiring viewing. It certainly frustrated Greg Blewett, who went after Pat Simcox and lost. Four for 92 at T. War averages an incredible 75 against South Africa, and once again it was he who got the Aussies out of trouble. Now finding the middle of the bat, he was the senior partner in a century stand with Ricky Ponting, lucky to survive a run-out attempt. The new ball brought Alan Donald back into the attack, War taking him on too. Over the slips. As Australia moved back onto level ground, Ponting produced the shot of the day. Alan Donald replied with a gem of his own. Luckily for Steve Waugh, it was a no ball. Oh, no ball. Caught off a no ball. Can you believe that? Mark Doran, 7 Nightly News.